Hey everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniart. It comes in 135 scale and here we have a figurine set, so it's a French civilians in cafe and it's 1930s, 1940s. You can see four figurines on the box art, actually three, it's a table and chair included as well. And all of this stuff will be in this plastic uh, back inside the cardboard box obviously and as far as you can see we also have glasses and bottle and also some food maybe included or maybe you will have to copy it by yourself so we will see it in this review and of course uh, first of all the box size it's typical for this type of kit from Miniart here you can see comparison with my hand and also we have I would say quite nice box art here on the it's also written here, yes, sculpting is by Sergei Alechno. So here also on the side we have some other kits from Miniart in the same scale. We have information about the manufacturer. And on the opposite side you can see also some safety advices in several languages. This is a side opening box, but first of all I would like to show you the rear side because here we have the assembly manual for the chair and also for the table. And here you can see the painting and assembly manual for figurines. So of course these poses will be predefined so you won't be able to change much but I think this is quite interesting choice for a diorama project. And here you can see the paints chart. So it is given in several manufacturer designations and it might be handy in case you use different brands so that you can understand how to actually combine everything together. So this is a side opening box. I'm opening it right now. Let's take out the back. Here it is. So what do we have here? It's a sealed plastic bag, so I will have to cut through it, but it will be quite quick. And as I said in some other video reviews, Miniart figurine kits are interesting because Miniart does not hesitate to play with the topics. So we get not only the soldier figurines, we get some, let's say, more trivial topics such, such as, for example, this uh, civilians in the cafe. And maybe it's really handy thing to show the diorama project in a different light. Maybe it's a good idea to use for some solo project. Maybe you'll be able to build a small cafe with this. But it's really a great thing to get in 135 scale. So now we're gonna see why it is a nice thing. So here we start with, well, I think that's the waiter figuring. So here we have um, waiter in apron, as you remember. So that's why we have here this part molded as a single piece part. You have to insert legs from the rear side. And as you can see, they will be completely closed, of course. And also facial features. So if I bring it closer, just like that, you can see that we have quite nice sculpting here. So it's just a matter of careful painting, maybe bringing out somehow all these features with help of shading, but I don't see any other molding issues or other possible problems and the only thing which I can mention here is that we do not have the guiding elements so you should be conscious of this because it will require careful position so that you can get a more or less realistic and convincing pose for this figurine. Next we continue with the furniture so here we have uh, parts for the chair and also for the table. Actually, there are two chairs included into this kit and they should be assembled out of several parts. You can see them actually here in the corner. So that's the back part. This is the front part and then you ins install also this top, let's say, section which will be serving as a seat pad on the seat, on the chair. So quite nice design and I think it might be worth to think about some weathering or painting ideas because just plain wood will be a boring thing. So maybe you can try to replicate something different or try to show some finish on these parts. And next we continue with actually civilians. So they are provided on these two separate plastic sprues which are interconnected. So here for example we have lady and as you can see uh, we have hat here. We have also a head which is molded without head and without torso obviously. Torso is a one piece and if I flip it over here you can check these parts from the opposite side. And here we continue with this gentleman. So here you will have to work on some seams 
because I can see that we have here a slight overlap of the plastic on the legs and on the head but it's solvable with a sharp knife so I hope you can see it on the camera as well and again the sculpting looks quite nice we also have umbrella by the way included even though yeah on the box art he was holding it in a hand so just to remind you here is the box art and as you can see he has the umbrella in his hand okay so quite an interesting thing but that's not all because we have more so let's bring out this figurine parts as you remember we also have some glassware also included so for example here you can see uh, various glasses and bottles for the alcohol and this is really cool that they're provided in a clear plastic it means you will be able to pick the shade by yourself just use the clear color and you will be completely fine with replicating different types of glass so that's a nice inclusion and next we also have more of the various glasses as you can see there are not only the wine glasses and champagne glasses we also have beer glasses so of course you won't have to use all of them that's why some of them will stay in your spare parts box and you can use or apply them in your future builds so whole kit should be already available you can get it in any good model shop for example Madelimex will have it for sure and I will happy to hear your opinion about this release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and Bye.